The drive line of the R22, starting at the main rotor hub, through the swash plate, down the mast, to the main rotor gearbox, then down the tail, to the tail rotor gearbox. All these moving parts will create vibration. Hi, vibrations. Everything puts off a vibration. Our helicopter really puts off vibrations. Our main rotor sends vibrations down the main rotor shaft. Different, our vibrations have different resonances. How high and low that that vibration pattern is, is the resonance, okay? Main rotor is going to put off resonance heading that way. Tail rotor is going to put off a vibration this way. On the R22, we are told to avoid the area between 60 and 70 percent because of sympathetic resonance. 60 to 70 percent because of sympathetic resonance. What happens there is as these vibrations come this way, these vibrations come this way, when they combine, they enhance each other. And they make it a lot bigger, a lot more harsh vibrations, that if we leave it there and let them build on each other, they'll just keep building, and they will literally tear this helicopter to pieces. Now that you understand what vibration is and how it's formed and what it does to the helicopter, you need to understand how to feel it. So the way we're going to do this is to explain it, a high vibration is going to come from your tail rotor. So a high vibration would feel if you ever have used a hand sander. When you get done using it, your hand still feels like it's vibrating, still tingles. So if you feel that tingling sensation in your butt in your back inside the helicopter, that would be something going wrong with your tail rotor. On the main rotor, you're only going to feel it on the cyclic, and it's the cyclic that's going to make a rhythmic movement back and forth. It's called a per rev. And however many per revs it's making in one block of time, then you talk to your mechanic, and they'll know whether or not it needs to be rebalanced. A medium vibration is between the main rotor and the tail rotor, so it's going to be kind of an in-between on the feeling that you get from the tingling sensation and what you feel on the cycling. All vibrations that you get depending on what you're feeling is what they need to look at and how they need to fix it. The cyclic, the low vibration, is a balancing problem. The tail rotor may also be a balancing problem and the mechanic will know how to fix that one. The in-between, then you look at quite a few things from the belts to the transmission to the engine to make sure that everything is balanced properly on that. If you're feeling any of those things, you need to report it to your AMP as quickly as you can so that they can get it taken care of.